The new plan and portfolio trends report sections assist FI360 toolkit users with historical data reporting. These report sections will display trends in client portfolio history, including portfolio value changes, asset class changes, watch list decisions, and rolling portfolio returns, like the example shown here. To create a portfolio report history, we need to go into the My Client section of the toolkit and build a historical record for our client. Our example shown right here just has one current data period and we need more than one data period to show the historical record. To create historical records we can go into the system, create a new portfolio for a historical record. Obviously you would want to update the data for the client as of that data period and once you do you can click on the archive button to archive the information. For example's sake, I'm just going to keep the information as is. Once I have the historical period, I can go into the edit section for the most recent period for our client. I can go into the report section and then I can begin to build a client report that will show the trending for the client's plan or portfolio. We've stored a FI360 report template right on the client center page for your reference and I'll produce that now. But as is with any report available in the toolkit, you can also create a report template that will include these new trending sections. Once our report is complete, we can open up the PDF and take a look. Now again this period and this report only has two periods so it's going to be a very simple view but we will get the trending history for the data over time for this client. One year return, three, five year return and then the growth of a ten thousand dollar investment. A more complete view for our client would be to have the client's information stored for several time periods so you can get an accurate view of the changes in the portfolio over time, the additions and removals of investments, the growth of the portfolio, and once we go into the report section and produce a report with this information we will see a better historical view of this information. All right, so with this growth of assets, we can see the changes in the asset classes over time. We can also see the general change in portfolio. We can see a change in the composition of the portfolio over time. Again, looking at a 100% view of the portfolio and how the portfolio has changed in terms of asset classes. There's a watch list review. So any watch list changes that you've made over time can be documented and stored in the toolkit and then shown in this report section. If we scroll towards the top we can see the legend and we can see that this second fund was on the watch list but ever since it's been passing our due diligence criteria that we've stored in the toolkit. This investment here has a watch list track record and then we can see in the most recent period how it's been removed from the portfolio. We have other information again such as quarterly returns, one year returns, three and five year returns along with a growth of ten thousand dollars and then a different view is where you can get all that information stacked into a single graph for reporting purposes. As with any report you also get all the underlying detail for the investment portfolio over time in the very last page and the appendix and the disclosure as well.